Hello everyone, me phone 4 and Clover here. Welcome back. And this time, we are now in the NHL, part of a Stanley Cup Conference Finals. This is where we are taking here to make a win to get into the Stanley Cup Finals for the second time of the postseason of the NHL on EA Sports. Now this matchup's going to be happening like this. We're seeing the next part of the matchup. First one is on Hurricanes and the Bruins. First location at Tiki Garden. And this one's going to be a biggest and battle collision in between the Metropolitan Division, the first seed, against the Atlantic Division of the first seed as also. Right now, here's how they do. Here are the Superstar X Factor players as we start with the Bruins first. David Pasternak has his snipe ability, Ely Puck settling, and also he has a make it also ability of a superstar. Angle, puck on string, 1T, it's tricky zone, to make a great trick shot, and tape to tape feed, with a better vision on the attacker. Now on the other side of it we have is across this Brad Marchand, he makes it snappy. It's very difficult to try to like keep it going, but the rhythm of this one keeps it right towards his eye. The setup of this puck playing score is very that tough, but keep your eyes open. They're very that tough, but you can't just find anybody unless you usually know how to shoot or get right into this one, and you know it's definitely what they go for a snapshot and stride. And a third player, we have his Linus Olmark. He has his x-ray vision through the screen. He also has his light work to make a great wrist shot saves and a butterfly effect. It's great to have all the perfections done on that goalie setup straight. He's very well on the top key, but hopefully on that point, he will be all in a good hand of the rhythm. And finally we have his Charlie McAvoy. He calls him stick him up for his early defenseman setup of his own goal. But don't be offense, if you're ever seeing it, just like he does, he really wants to keep it right towards it on the offside of it. It's definitely okay, but to be clear, he wants to get that one to try to stick left it. That's what everybody does. He gets it right in about underneath. Now, let's send you over on the other side to Carolina Hurricanes. On the other side we have is Sebastian Abo. His third eye ability has an Ely Perceptoral Password. He only makes the tape to tape and magnetic with a quick pick. But it's good to make the third eye. He has an Ely Passer and give it up to an open man from one eye to the second eye and to the third eye. That's where he might be settling the score. It's tough when you need it. It's a very hard one to put it in bounding. And that's right. On the other side of it, you may not be seeing what's going on. But as you may have already noticed, this is what happens. Jacob Slavin has a shutdown great rush defending. That's why his defenseman really keeps him on struggling. But he knows he sure comes with an old time ability. Now let's get in to the TD Garden. Standing by, we have his OJ and Son of Beast, along with the center ice of Wet Brain. We'll be back with the post game show of three star players and the statistics of game one. Let's get started. Enjoy your first game of the Eastern Conference Stanley Cup playoffs. It's the first game at TD Garden. The Bruins are home of the Boston against the Carolina Hurricanes, the visiting team. Hello everybody, OJ along with Son of Beast. This is NHL Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals. About to get started. We are courtesy right now underway here in Boston and are about to get set. Here the courtesy lineup and scores! That first goal is a shot try to start for DeBrus. I was wondering what would happen because if DeBrus was putting it right around right around the goaltender on Frederick Anderson. I may have been just looking at it again. That looks like it was a quick release bit here, but that one turned to be very that tough. What a goal for the start for Jake DeBrus. He has his first goal in the conference finals. Now into Jarvis. Jarvis passes to Slavin. Slavin making the move. Goes down right toward the blue line. Right over on the other side we have Svechikov. Then across from here we have his Matt Michael Burns. Jacob Slavin on the outside. Sebastian Ajo. Right toward the middle 
and we have is Jarvis. And the starting goaltender is Frederick Anderson, but on the other side of the Bruins we have is Linus Olmark. Linus Olmark is really a better at save, and he's a veteran to take over. Along with Swayman, he really had that one all to take that one for Fairity to pull it right from heel. I know it's never been a you seen like this, but in that case, they really are starting to make that one a lot aggressive to make that drive. All that does happen now, they really are trying to keep him over it and put it in the offensive on the line. Svetrikov has to puck right toward the corner of the wall. Passes over to Slavin. Slavin passes over to Nekis. Nekis on his way to make a move in front. With a new changeup and a save by Omar. He will hold it with just only 17.39 to go. Just getting started for the conference finals. With tougher teams we have now is Lightbrain. Pasternak is bringing it a pretty deal save to put up a snipe on goal. His setup and his changing is a top way to make it inbounding. It's possibly it's imperative. To make that one clear, he will have to try to take over with another player. Slavin has a better at his offense pick up the run, but defense is putting up a shutdown. The jailbreak on the other hand can't let the player to get right in the attacker. The zone is very clear, but keep your eyes out. There's one way that they're going to try to keep him out of here. These are the two we're looking for. I'll be keeping an eye here on Jacob Slavin and on the other side of David Pasternak. Back to you guys. They're in a closer. We haven't made the mid midway mark of the period. Boston Bruins have a one nothing lead to start their run. Oh, hello! And Skeggy back in our way. You're easy with that one. You can't just leave it out the zone. Make a shot. Stop again by Lula Solmar. He will hold the puck with under 16.30 to go in the first period. Both players are set, about to take the face off in the offensive zone. Carolina wins the face off, and now Pest will take it over. McAvoy has got it now, right across to Frederick. Frederick trying to move it over. Playing it around the net. Now back to Pest. Oh, it went down! Anderson, big save! He's going to hold it with the puck with only 15.58 to go. Now back into the other side of the Carolina zone. They still got a lot of plenty of game and action to go right from here. We've never seen them how well they, they're doing since the Met last time was putting up a huge, quick, fast pace. Well, this fast pace was not really turning out that they really wanted to be. All you could say now is like, we really have this one up here, guys. They are not but they're always being countered to make that one clear. The offense is putting up a lot of pressure on this one, but not really because they really are trying to keep it lower with the offensive line to go right from here. Now here we have Boston Bruins with the win. Hathaway's in the zone. Making a slashing out shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Chest for pass. Right across with the puck and now entering the Bruins zone. With the fire shot. Two-time stop by Omar. Keeping the puck out of his zone. Now we'll enter in for Orlov. Orlov lost the puck. Now takes over with Charlie McAvoy. McAvoy swings over to Greer. Greer, right underneath in slot. Pass takes it over. Now passes over to Stahl again to Martin. Fired away. Hit off the pad right across the, from the shoulder of his arm. Greer takes it over. Now he moves it over into the other side. Pass is broken it up again. Now in the middle of the game. You make the move in front. Open the range site. Pulls it up away. Satcha. Satcha in the move. Looks toward it. Puck lost and delay penalty called on Carolina. Well, they're going to get that one a call because there was a slashing and there might be a holding that may have been clicked off. They're not really trying to leave him out. But this will be a tough one and this is going to be a close in the range. This mark is nothing, but they're going to keep him out of here because the holding is on the Bruins. Carolina's going to get the first power play and get it right toward it. And there he is. The first penalty call will be on Boston for the slash. Now they will get Pavel Zacha in the penalty box. With the playoff of this record, we always been seeing what they were keeping an eye on there. 
Run that one. This is the last one of the game that they were able to see. How they were finding it, they're really not that important. Well, they really are a tough one because we've seen that other couple players in the team from the Crown Canes that they really are trying to make that one set up chain. For 1990, they were really off to a bigger start. But they weren't really trying to keep them over it. Because of this one, playoff record was happened to be a 16-26 run here for the record versus the Bruins in the playoffs. This was most of the record that they were able to play from here. But not really all of them. Because everyone else has been playing in between the first and second round. They are really are trying to pick it up right from here. This ranging of this offense is really turning out back on the other game from the Stanley Cup playoffs from last year. Now they're looking forward to keep an eye on that one. And the target this range might be out of sight. Just like the last season, here for the NHL 22 postseason, right forward towards the game. And now with the save comes me for, for Olmark with only 11.48 to go. Jacob Slavin just really shows it, but Sebastian Ogno has a third eye ability. He mostly maintains it right away from towards the offside. When this player goes in inbound and he can find a third eye right toward the player in open string. I'll be watching on Sebastian Ogno. Let's hope that there is one way to find an open key during the power play. Here's Ago, and forward will take it over. Clear the puck out of his zone to leave it out. In their zone. Now here's Turbine, and he will give it over to Svechikov. Svechikov over to Nose. Toward the corner, gets blocked up. Jamming in front of it is very uh, hard to see. But you may never ask, ask for it if you're going to keep it right toward the line of it. Looks like that, uh, that Zacha is ready to get out and join the play. Fast break! The power play's over for the Carolina Hurricanes. They're now back to a full strength. They're very good in the offense run. They're picking up a lot of steam. But when you can't get enough of that one, Pavel Zacha can't just get right toward passing. This is nothing but they're going to do. They really got to show their offense. And he scores! That's his first goal in the conference finals! Now they have it tied up to start with the first game. Well, you can't get rid of Nozin. That's what everyone was thinking. They just got to get right around it. Bruins and Arcanes are tied up by one, passing the midway mark of the period. Sebastian Alvo got a good pass right over after Skeggy. Now in the layer, layer setup chain, here's Birds. And it's unforceable to make that play with the pass. Fails to commit firing. Slavin, right over, right towards the net. Pass to Genghis Svechikov. Fires around the net. Orlov recovering the puck, and Ago takes it over. Pass to Burns. Burns in the slot. Rebound and stop made by Omar. Svechikov, oh man, he went down as McAvoy got a piece of it. Charlie McAvoy gets crushed down, and now it will be Another set of chain. Bad pass broken up. Satcha, right across in the middle. The slot broken up. Michael Burns with the puck steal. Turbine in right toward the middle. Whoa, Brown gone wild here. Crunchy. Blocked it up at the defender, and now Burns will have it over in the corner. Fallible loose puck of the chain. Now the offense is picking up the run, and Burns will jam it all. Here's Hyperway. Anderson takes it with the save. Hold it up for the whistle with only 7.31 to go in the first period. They're going to need to try to slow this down because they're very like hard on the warpy run. They just really can't find anybody else to protect. This offense really needs to find another way to get over it. Here's Burns pass to Dickens. Oh man, he went down! Carlo shot! Stopped by Anderson with 7.11 to go. Now he will hold the play here. With just only 7-11 to go. Nearing them closer to the mark at the end of this period. It's a tie game. Carolina and Boston are the top teams to be in the arriving match of the first seed. Now with the stop, changing up behind the net. Carolina will have their attack and now Fast is on the offense run. Breaking out the chain. Stop the pad. And that goes up and over the net out of play. 
Now this offense puts up for Elias Allmark on the defenseman. Allmark has a lot of it to put in the x-ray vision. He is very not comfortable to go right toward with an amazing offensive skill. But the advantage may not be that tough. And all it says now, it may be a worthwhile to be on the through the chain. I'll be watching Allmark with a lot of saves and bounding. Back to you, OJ. Here's Greer, passes over again to Hathaway. Back again to Carlo. Nozin. Nozick's right towards the end of the slot. On the right wing. Move around the middle. The save made by Frederick Henderson. And now for Jersey back to Frederick. Now rolls it in. The backhand shot was tipped out of bounds. Point again to Stahl. Stahl right towards the slot. It's blocked up by the defender in traffic. That defender has really turned out a very hard slot. You may never see a war was coming, but if you get that right away, you might need to give that one another good, excellent run call if you're going to give it right back to him. Now, here's fast. He will have the puck right toward him in the offense zone. Right in the slot. It's blocked up. Lindholm grabs the puck and around right across the board. With Jersey right towards the offensive wing. Moving around again to Carlo. Now back to Coyle. Coyle passes to Lindholm, and now Frederick takes it over. Over in the slot! Stop the inbound save by Frederick Anderson. Lindholm moves again to Frederick, and Turbine takes it over with the puck steal. Now the Hurricanes are on the attack. Gets away from him. Nekas recovers the puck. In the corner now, Nekas firing all on the board, and Orlov getting around him with him. That paddling for the loose puck is very that intense. When a hurricane storm is putting up a rejection, they really are trying to keep it out of here. Dion! Oh man, that bumped him out! Nekis over again to Skudgy. Skudgy over to Nekis. Nekis right toward the middle. No penalty call on Boston. Orlov gives it to Marchand, and now Bergeron will tap it here. Right into the middle. Into the right wing. Fires and saved by Eric Anderson. Dion back to Shatsdin. Two minutes to go in the first period. It's still tied up. And Skedgy getting a little bit bangled up. Chassis back to Stepan. Stepan right towards the right wing. Fires a shot. Saved me by Omar. Now he will get an offer a whistle here with under of 140 to go. Nearing 90 seconds in the first period. Officials are getting set here for the open ice. It is a 1 1 lead to a tie. Scratchy wins the faceoff, and now Orlov will have it. Kirchi over again to McAvoy. The Bruins are into the offense zone. Fighting it over to Pasha. Shot! Rebound again, and it's stopped by Anderson. A lot of battling with the intake. You can't say that Frederick Anderson was pulling it right in toward the slot. That is a tough one to make an inbound. Nearing now, closer to the mark of the end of the period, it's still a tie game. One minute to go, Bastardots! Put an inbound save here by Frederick Anderson. Now Stepan will take it over into neutral offense zone. Boston's got it across into the middle of the ice. Boards back to Slavin, and now back to Nozen. He carries the puck around the net. Orlov regroups it. Kicks the puck out of here. Now finds McAvoy. He gives it to Zacha. Entering the zone. Oh, a little bit bounding with the, with the lockdown defense. And knows it back to Shatsy. That will end the first period. Good, tough, round and bounding. The first period is time. We'll get a second period when we come back. Out to the break. On now to period number two. With my broadcasting crew of me and Son of Beast, this is the second period as we start right now for the game one of the conference finals. Here's right now as Son of Beast will be taking a look at the recap of how they did in the first period. They're very clear and honesty to make that one more resistant. The side note, they really are putting up a lot of energy on the re retaking of the game. 
They're very out well. But the offense is putting up a lot of a harder on this one occasion. They really are starting to pull it back. The Boston Bruins have gotten a 1 0 lead this with the start. But then late during the first period, the Hurricanes have that answer back. As right now, Nosek has gotten that one here with the, with the goal, made that one in there. And he had that one a lot of timing shot ability to go right from here. I'm wondering if there's a leadoff change, if there's going to be a one heavy attacking on the run to keep it over. Right now, here's the Hurricanes. Now fires a shot, and Omar saved me. 18 2 to go. Got to get things a little started here in this part of the game. They really are putting up a lot of the heavy attacking, but the Amora range is putting up right toward it. Now here we are, fighting over face off of the lane, as now 18.02 is to go. It's Simon inside, saved by Omar. Got to hold the whistle up there. There are a lot of saving attackings. Canes are trying to keep the ring and then trying to pull it out. They're not really trying to like let go of anybody, but they really are having a hard time. They were just trying to like keep it focused out of it. Not really too much going in there because they were knocking it out of here. Wow, what a catch by Omar. And you know that catching Omar is just really getting it ready that still. But don't be in compromising if they're going to try to keep it over. They really have it. Charlie McAvoy has it sick about the ability with the defense run. This attacking motion is a turnout to make a reject. Every other team in this motion really keeps it on happening. When they get enough stick him up, you can try to stick him in the lake and put it right in the inbounding. They like to try to keep it going. Like it might be hard enough to try to pull it from ahead. I'll be watching that Charlie McAvoy right ahead. Back to you. Turbine wins the face off. Goes down for the end. Watching with a defender on the outside, battling with a loose cup. Trying to keep him out of the momentum out there. And now with the snipe, here's Pat Bergeron. Pass is over! Bird takes the puck steal. They're not just trying to like keep it out of here on the range site. They really are trying to keep it going. This offense range may not be that possible enough, but they really are trying to leave it out. Now they're inside the zone. Here comes the Hurricanes. They in this Bruins, making another save. Bowling for the buck loose. We're going to have to range in this side of the motion, and on the outside, here it goes. Hurricane's in his zone. The attacker is stuck, and Orla back to McAvoy. Terrible, you know to get the Fox. Last shot went off the target. Terrible, trying to scoop it in. With the shot stop baby, by Omar. They're doing it up much as they can. They're not really trying to, like, leave it out with the open guard. But this offense put it up right away. With the shot! Oh no! He just knocked it out! It went in the net! And Frederick get a goal! That was really tough. And I have no other questions to say about it. It looks like the puck was out and reached out. He punched it, but he lost the catch. It was turned over, and now Boston had that lead right away. But disappointing effort to start here for Frederick Anderson. And he missed that one with an opportunity range. Yeah, it's definitely that close. But you can't just let it go go far, and you're going to have to try to like inbound the puck. They really are trying to go fast, but you can't just see where he was going. Because right now with Frederick Anderson, he didn't really have the right timing after Frederick took it over. It's very that clearly that he went right toward the puck, and then he punched it right in it. Here's another pass to Lindholm, going to stop saved by Anderson. And Betts will take it over. Now Coyle will take it over to Carlo. Carlo back to Frederick. Frederick blocks the shot. Pass. We'll try to deliver here for the offense zone. Now in the inbound. Rolling in for D. The same B comes up for Omar. And stole shot. That went off the mark. Now rolling from here. It's Petruzzi back to Carlo. And now in again to Frederick. Frederick fires around the net. Over the right side. We have a sketchy back to Svechikov. Svechikov over again to Pets. Now find Stahl. Here's Stahl on the other side. Pass broken up. Marchand giving it over again to Bergeron. Rolling from inside to brush shot. It's blocked up and Pets takes it over. Now for Pets. They're pulling it right away. Give the pass and Bergeron takes a steal. 
Boston back in their own end of the territory, and now Brusque will have it out. Giving it inside. Pass is to Marchand. Shot stopped by Anderson. Thought is fair, getting a little bit bumped down here, and as Pest will take it over. The puck is lost in Bergeron. Svechikov lost the puck in forward. Give it back to DeBrus. Godisphere will take the puck here right towards the end. Right through the Car Carolina zone, and now Bergeron has it. Back to Marchand's shot. Oh, and it's off the pad. The puck escaped the zone, and now they will try to re-enter reinforcement. Here's Clifton. Back again to Greer. Greer to Halfaway. Halfaway right toward the inbound to Clifton. Move around the side! Stop by Anderson! Anderson will hold it up for the whistle here with only 10.38 to go in the second period. With the tough players in calling, it is a 2-1 game for Boston. Now with the win, here's Orlov. Passes over again to Greer. With the shot! Rebound and stopped by Shatsny. Now he will have it in the other way, giving it off to Stepan. Stepan get bumped up right here in the corner, and now he will put it up again. Wow! Chelsea, same bay by Omar. They're just going all over it. They wanted to tackle it, and they wanted to get it out. Half away, we'll have the puck here. Now fire it around the net. Leaving from the outside, we have his Burns. Burns on the way to Stepan. Stepan fires around the net. Now McAvoy will have one. And Nekis will try to take the puck away. Burns to the inside. Move around the middle. Stop it safe. Olmark with a two-time stop. He's putting up a great off the offense run. He is trying to deliver it. But that offense is trying to like leave, leave him up, Mark out of it. You can't get rid of him. And now the foul. Now for the number of face-off attack. We've got 9-0-1 to go. Passing the midway period. Burns over again to Nekas. Now finds Burns. In the middle. Pat it up. Not enough power to make the shot. Crunchy right into the offense zone. Move around the man. That's blocked it up by a defender. Crunchy right toward the corner of the wall and now rolling in. Recovering the puck is Pashtanox. Shot stopped there by Anderson. Rebound scores! goals in the playoffs. Well, David Krenzi was able to do that one right around Frederick Anderson. It's good to be an eye on the target. When Krenzi has that with a message, he wants to it up to everybody else who wants to give it all. This is what we do here. I had it all ability, but this is not what everyone does. They do it a better look of an angle. I've got a handle of this, and this is my work, be it, to hit the mark. I'll be watching here for another, for another crazy goal to pick it up from here. Back to you, OJ. Lots of time left in this fair period of frame. Boston extends the lead by two. Coyle over to Carlo with the winning faceoff, and now Lindholm will give it over again. Trying to move it across for Terzi. Jarvis guts the puck here, now into the Carolina zone. Svechikov trying to take it over from the inbound. Frederick passed the loop hole. Over the coil. It's blocked it up again. And now Jarvis with the puck. Uh, oh, right towards the right left wing and outside. Slab it. Over in the inside. Slab it. Shot. Stopping it again. Svechikov. Good step had save here by Omar. Now that's what he was doing it because that was a very tough on the shot. He was trying to deliver with an offensive run. This game didn't really happen, but they really are trying to make that one pay for it. Dion almost lost the puck here, but now it's slabbing with the puck. Now gives it to Svechikov. Returns, he's got the puck here, now into the offense zone. Move on in, Slot! Did not have enough to get a goal in it to extend it. Ajo finds fast, and pad stopped by Omar. Olmark is going to hold up here with 5.17 to go. They're just going to leave that with an all mark on the end. But they really say they can't just leave it. If you're watching the Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals, the Florida Panthers are on the roll, beating against the Carolina Hurricanes 
But the Hurricanes never really had that goal to try to keep on coming. They are looking for another win if they want to do it again. And because Florida Panthers, they're a wild card team, they never been made it to the playoffs that far. They haven't just won a Stanley Cup in just a couple of these years. I mean, for one year, it didn't really happen to be one that. But you know it, they really have to. They want to win it, they want to do it badly to have the wild card team win it all. Allmark's going to hold up with a whistle here, right down to 4.18 to go. Now here's the thing i got to talk about this one here. From Game 3, it's not what they really say. Panthers really win against the against the Carolina Hurricanes. They want to upset them. That's for the New York, for the New Jersey Devils that they want them out. Because they were not really showing it up because that was all that happened. And he scores. Jesper Fast has 15 goals and now it comes down by 2. You really don't get a chance right now. You got that one and you put it in. Chest for fast as that goal, and now it is rolling down to a 3 2 lead. Like I said before, the Stanley Cup playoff play finals of the champions, they have never won anything. But yeah, and that's because of they always done, because they never won it. They never win the Stanley Cup ever. And he scores! Martin Nook! Unbelievable back to back play. That's what they're coming down, the Crank Canes. Wants to make a mess on the storm, they want to take him down. Oh man, Jordan Martinuk really saw that. They never really get there authentically, and because of that, they want to get it done. I have never seen it anybody does that, but if hopefully in that occasion, they might be doing it again. I'll watch it here to keep an eye focused on the head. Anyway, let's bring this one back here to another lead off chain in between Carolina and Boston. Back to you. Now here's Nick as he will cut Kennedy, and the shot stopped here by Omar. Clifton's got a puck now back to Bergeron. In the set, sadly in the attack zone, Bergeron doing over again to Marchand. Anderson holding him with a big save with only 2.37 to go. Now we have the call for Brad Marchand. Marchand has his really all of his all goal. He makes that one a one tough one to make it snappy. And this sort of a setup is a chance to make this in between. Let's find out if Brad Marchand will have that snappy in to put it in his own. Now on the offense side, blocked away. McAvoy will have the puck right into the corner of the wall and now on its way. Moves around the puck from the inside of the middle. The transition right towards Indy's left swing. The brush shot, blocked by the traffic defender. The brush shot, that takes it over to Dekas. Now in the other side on the attack, looking for another look at the open man. Keeping the puck in alive, Dekas the Kokenemi shot, that went wide off the range. Turbine in, and Orlov will have it back. Last minute to go in the second period, and McAvoy will have it in, in carried out. Here's McAvoy, and Sketchy will take the puck away. Gets bumped out. Boston will regain their group, and Lindholm gives it to McAvoy. McAvoy right toward the middle. In the offense side, trying to pick up the run. And it's not blocked away. Sketchy! Rebound saved by Anderson. Anderson is really blowing up a bigger save. They're not even trying to, like, give it up. They want him to do it again. And that will end the second period. Here are coming back now with uh, two games in the goal for Carolina. It's a 3-3 three three game. Be right back after this. Third period is underway next. Hey everybody, Clover here. And I wanted to give you a quick announcement just for you guys. If you have your tickets ready for the BFDI and MNSA experience, Make sure you plan your time before the show starts. You first, you'll meet the, your, your creators, and it's one of the best things in, the, in person. It's definitely what everybody really likes. We all love seeing it in person this year. Part of the creators that you always ever see from the creators of BFDI and creators of the Anime Insanity. 
Plus, you get to meet one of the actors that must be will be given up here. Plus, the picture's here, and it will take it over. And if you receive the game and make it to the game of the show, you will receive a plushie of two from the FDI. I mean, it's part of the experience. It's not what everybody really wants, so if you're the first one here, make sure you get yours. Because that will be an exciting thing to give that one off. The live stream will be happening here on Saturday, part of July 8th, at Gerald W. Lynch. But if you're in L.A., it will be happening here on June 25th at Sabi Media Center on Sunday. So that will be happening just right around the corner. So I hope you all will enjoy this part of it this month, and it's going to be great. Plus, we also have the cast of your, your leader comment box below for next season of NHL 24. So you can make a comment suggestion out of it. It's in between those teams that are a franchise and more popular. But sometimes you would never see anybody like that. And then after that, the deals will be happening here later. Uh, I'm not sure what it will be, but um, hopefully the day gets closer before Son of Beast's birthday. Yeah, I guess it is. So at that point, that's it for the announcement. Now let's finish off with the third period. And I'll be back with the post-game show. See you guys later. Here we go. The third period is about to begin. Win and lead. We are back. And now the puck is dropped. About to get started for the third period. Let's have the recap look. As right now, Son of Peace will have the recap in for the second period. The last part of the game was turning out to be unterrificable to find out for Kreji. He had that goal earlier, and with that one, the, the, the goaltender really had that one out. He was knocking in for the puck. He didn't really save it at that point. He went behind it. It didn't really help him out for him. But after, after all, he was knocking in. Every other player didn't really have a chance to do this. Because they're very uh, onto an authentic run, they really want to try to find someone and try to get him out of here. They can't be losing it from in between. And the zone is very that clogged up. They're really on to a authentic run, and they really have to get to try to fix it to somebody else to do it again. Stop the pad by Omar. And because you see now that Carolina Hurricanes, they've already had two goals in this game because of a lot of back-to-back -back switches. They're very that tough and authentic. For the first, second period, and third period will be the next one to find out who will take the lead. Now back to going over again to Marchand. Marchand right toward the middle. And Jarvis takes the puck away. Hurricanes are back in the offense zone. Oh, big dust by Viceland. That's gonna be that's gonna be a body check right toward it in, in the zone. This offense is like ouch. That's gonna be a very painful run for for one of the Carolina teams to get out of here. So I went back to Dirkus. Now we're gonna Taravini. Teravina getting a little bit bumped over. Nuggets, it's blocked. Orlov right toward the corner, battling for the loose puck. Now Pasternak will take it over. In the offense run, trying to pick up the steam. Pasternak skips to Sacha. Shot stop made by my Anderson. Now pulling it over right toward the offense zone into Kakenemy. Kakenemy went right toward the board. Orlov has the puck now, taking over to Pasternak. Leaves it back open to Zacha. Over again to Kriji. In to the left side. Loose to Pasternak. It's blocked by Slavin. Good shutdown ability for Jacob Slavin. He is trying to block that shot. Now blocks it and turns it over again on Lindholm. Now McAvoy, right over again to Pasternak. Now rolls it over to Zacha. Go around the net. Master Kreji, shot stop again by Anderson. Kreji trying to roll it over into the offense zone, passes again to Lindholm. Lindholm trying to leave it out, and the puck escapes the zone. Boston regrouping the zone, and now Kreji will keep it out. Inside alone, Kreji, pass to Pasternak, shoot, fire save, run it up again. That is stopped away by Anderson. Jacob Slavin dishes off to Jesper Fast. Fast was down. Carlo takes the puck over. Just about 14 minutes to go in the third period. Trying to leave it over. 
Now we're back the other way is Martin up. Tries to leave it open on the mark. But Jersey has the puck away and now takes it to Coyle. Coyle over to Brett. Well, Jersey with the puck and rebounded in and stopped by Anderson. Anderson out for, for the whistle here for 13 27 to go. Lots of time left to play for this period. It's still a tie game. The next goal could be it. Now we're going to win for Coyle. Clifton! And that one gets rejected off of Frederick. Now a pass to Forward. Back to Frederick. Over to Coyle. Coyle moves to Forward. We we'll run in and stop and save it by Anderson. Nosen will have the puck here right into the offense zone. Keep him on the other side of the lane, and now it's forward. Now Bertuzzi will have it out. Now racing it towards it. Gets banged up by the wall. Scucci has the puck. Leaving it up. In from his inside of the solid coil shot. It's pat saved by Anderson. Nosen will give it over to Stepan. Step on right toward inside the slot. Moves it around toward around the net. Clifton will grab it over. Keeping the puck out of here alive. Now here's Nosen. Nosen shot. Oh, Mark with the save. What a big start. Yeah, yeah. You always know that old Mark is really putting up a lot of energy in the aesthetic run. They are just pulling it right away. Now we're going to face off here on to another one. And Boston will win the face-off. That will be 16 for the Bruins. Now the Bruss will have it in the zone in the middle. 2 on one opportunity. That's saved by Anderson. And back to Marche. Leaving the back out to Jarvis again to Stretchikov. Stretchikov passes over to Jarvis. Jarvis right toward the right. With the shot. Carried and step again by Omar. Only 10.45 to go in the third period. We got a lot of extra amount. They're trying to get over it. A lot of attackers, a lot of defensemen, right? <laughs> exactly. Bergeron wins the faceoff and now forward takes it over to Clifton. Clifton getting away with it. The brush has the puck here now in the offense zone. Shoots it for the center. Got stopped by Anderson and now finds Dion. Dion Aho and now Goddesphere will take it. From the left side, from the neutral offense zone. Clifton taking over with the poke check. The Bruins are on their way over to the offense side. Or Jerron and DeBrus. Shot stopped by Anderson. Leaving an open gap with only 9.43 to go in the third. We passed the midway mark of the period. It's still a tie game looking for another goal. They've got to get the lead up by now. Mongoy shot. Good stop by Anderson. Anderson really had that one out there. He's just going to keep it, keep going, and then right around it. That attacker is going to bring it up and over towards the left net of the line. They're not really speaking, but they were just going right toward it. But if you're in Boston and you have the defense, you know you have to give it away. Now McAvoy will have it over to get to Orlov. Marchant shot! Had it out of the air and Anderson with the save. Stick around here for tomorrow night for another doubleheader as you will have on Sunday afternoon or as part of the game of the Sunday Showcase. First it will be the Avalanche facing against the Kraken at Ball Arena and the same location will be here again for Game 2 of the Nuggets and the Lakers. Right now their lead is 1-0. Now I'll be happening here with, with, with 3 p.m. And, and later at 7 p.m. here at Mile High at 4, 4 p.m. Mountain Region. Burns will take it over back to Slavin and now to Svechikov. Now over again. Look toward it. McAvoy with the steal. Trying to leave it open that. Alphaway gives it over again and Greer trying to hold it up with the attack. Calling for retreat. Now finds McAvoy. Back again to Alphaway. Fires it around the net. 
Terramine, and we'll have it over again to Burns and now Neckus. Moving in. Reaching out for the, uh, the left side of the wing, and now Orlov will take it over. Orlov right into the right wing, trying to move it over, and it's bumped out by Slavin. Back to Slavin, over now to Neckus. 6.40 to go in the third period. Right down. Orlov with the puck. Now have it over to Carlo. Now Kennedy will have it. Escape the zone, and now they're back in it. No late penalty call. That will be on Boston. They're calling a, a interference on the major call. And Pavel Zacha in the penalty box for the second time. You're not going to give it successful. Because when you're interfering someone, they could call on you. And you're going to have to go in the penalty box if you're going to get that one a right major call. Canes are on the power play for the second time. They're looking for a way to get, take the lead. Boston wins the faceoff and now fires out. Six minutes to go in the third period. Now Terravina will give it over again to Svechikov. Carolina and the Hurricane in the Bruins territory. Avo looks to Terravina and shot stopped by Omar. Oh, he's been an exciting goaltender. He's already like, I'm always legend. I have to do it on my own. And that's what you can always do. You just got to leave it up with the mark, and then you got to get that one a good call. That is a major point to, to succeed. Now, face off wins, puts up 22 for Boston. 5.30 to go in the third period. Here's Terravine, and he will give it over to Srechikov. Try to block the pass, and Ago will take it over. And Ago! Block the shot here on the defender. Now we will leave it out. Just about five minutes to go in the third period and Spetchikov will give it over again. Right towards the middle of the offense. Fires it! Stop the bat by Elmar. Keeps it out of range to escape it. They're just playing another attack. They are really on for nothing. They are doing really well. Keep it out of here and keep it alive. Kakenemi. Lindholm takes it over. Coyle will have it. Zacha's ready to get back on ice to do it again. Puck, and Puck escapes his own, and now it will clearly go out of the play and into four. Now with the win, Forbert. And the power play is over for Carolina. Now back into the even strength. They're very uh, good, and keeping the offense alive, they're really right towards the inbounding. They have really done that much better to keep it inbounding with the offense of the, of the run. They are very that tough, and you know they are very that good to try to keep them out of here. They've done the best. Here's Jarvis with the puck. Three for you to go in the third period. Now go Orlov. Skip it out over again to Gottesfield. Passes the Burns. Finds Satsy. Shotsy right toward the inbounding. Shot stop again by Omar. He will hold the puck with only under three minutes to go in the third period. Now with the answer call, we have is Jacob Slavin, as right now, like Frank stands by. Slavin is really well in a better place. His defenseman was very that strong. Trying to keep the puck out of here without going into breakdown. He's very well. And this is what everybody really calls for. They're really on to a bigger attacker. Never have you seen it. Because this was very that tough and on a range is on a big site. Oh, good stop here by Omar. Orlov right towards the outside and the light penalty call on Carolina. There you are. And now you know they're going to get a power play and they're going to get it done. Pasternak. And now they will stop the play with under two minutes. Here is right now with the slash call. Call Kennedy with the puck. They will have a slashing call, and now this is a chance to make the breaking the chain run. Now with the faceoff ready to make its way. It's now a 3-3 three three score. With the win, here's Little Fires! Oh, it didn't really get in. That stayed out of the net, and now it won't swing it back to the Bruins zone.
Ludo right towards the in the right way. Now finds Crunchy. Slavin with the putt. Gets bumped out and stalled. Need to try to get out of here. Burns will try to fire it out. We come down to a last minute of play in the third period. They need to get this goal right away before time runs out. Bergeron, right in the middle, DeBrus, blocked the shot. And Kakenemi and Slavin try to take him out of here. That's the early play of this offense. They were trying to like keep him out. But the blocked shot for Jacob Slavin, they're really up to this. 50 seconds for the power play for Boston Bruins. And a shot stopped by Anderson. Slavin keeps it up. 40 seconds for the third period and 40 seconds for the Bruins power play. Now DeBrus will have it out. Moving right towards the slide with the shot. And it went right behind the net. Flings it up in the air. 15 seconds left. Third period. Need to keep it moving. Stall has it. Bergeron. Will he beat the boss? Shot. Stop by Anderson. We were here all night, and this one's going to be an overtime to start for the first game in Boston. Well, they're really going to a authentic run. They may not have enough to go right from here, but don't be mindful of that. They're really off to it now. Alvo with the win. Leaves it out, and that will end the regulation. Overtime is next. No goal in the first period. Let's find out who will take the first win in the conference finals. Be back after this. It's that time. The overtime for the conference finals is turning to be a very tough slot right toward the angle. But you never know. When they come in, they've always given them out. Because of this one, they've really been showing it off like they did before. And because everyone really does that with a lot of goals in this game, Shots on goal, goal turned to be a lot that heavy on the making mark. Power play goals were never but the choice. They never really caught it on because they were really up to it. And this challenge has been bringing it up over and again and under. They're really not trying to figure anybody else out. They really are trying to like find someone else who could try to like keep it go going right from in between. They are trying to maintain and win this one. They have nothing to do with one of our shots and goal. They had no choice, but they wanted to end it up with the part of the first game. But hopefully in this one, they're going to have to find somebody else out and try to go with the win and move on to the second game. They might find in between. If it's goals for in between the Carolina and Boston. Now for the next game, we'll see how this one goes as this one is going to keep on going by. Let's find out who will win in overtime. Here we go! Both teams are set, about to begin over time in the first conference finals. Here we go! The power play is almost up, and right now they're back to a full strength. It's been a dramatical night, as they always been playing it back and forth. Since we seen them in the first round, they were really that tough. To be honest, with that point, they're really trying to like keep them out of there. Just the right moment, they're really up to the challenge. Bergeron will start from here, and now DeBrus with the shot! Stop by Anderson! 19.08 to go in overtime. They need to find another one quick. Keeping right toward the offense side of the Bruins to Kane's territory. The next one will be a win. Here's Burns, he'll give it over to Slavin. Now rolling up. Pass almost broken up. Svechikov trying to recover it, and Slavin trying to keep it up. Now the range is back in to Burns. Avo with the putt. Svechikov right toward in the middle. And McAvoy will take it over. Back to DeBrus. DeBrus gets knocked down. Svechikov with the putt. Right towards the end slot. Burns in the middle! Stolmark with the stop save! This inbounding is keeping it harder on that one. Gotta keep him going before it gets too far. Marchant saved by Frederick Anderson. And Orlov fires in the pit puck and the stick goes broken. Got to replace a new one to get it fixed. And a pat save. 
Oh no shot! Oh my! That's Omar with another quick save in the game. They're trying to leave it out. They don't want to get it in there. Now with their team, they're ready to get going. Just done. Just getting it down there quicker. The pull right away. Now with the win for the Hurricanes. Now Zatcher will take it back over and McAvoy with only 17.04 to go. Here in our top range of motion, McAvoy. The Bouncer Lock shot scores! There's your first win! And the Bruins pull up a wild run! Then you know that Pastor Knox was not able to do much of his own. You can say that he does it. That's what Bruins does. Finish it off. Bruins with the win, 4-8-3 over the Canes. You know the passing axe was there. When pulling back rebounds, say the back-to-back -back runs, that is where you make the team a lot more success. We all salute to the fans, and this one has been a fantastic conference finals night here on EA Sports of NHL. Well, along with my broadcasting partner, OJ, along with Son of Beast and Life Brain, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup of the Conference Finals. We hope everybody's enjoying with each other, and now it's time to send you over to Meatbone with Cobra. See you all next time. Adios. All right, thank you very much. And now this all has to come down from here. We all would say that this might be one time enough to be showing how it is. Let's have your free star players of the game. All right. I got a great feeling about this one. The third star, we're going to get a start from you. We have this Lena Solmar. He had 45 saves. We well, have a great run. Then a second star on the other hand, we have this David Krigy with a goal and assist. Never seen him making a goal, but now he does it. And on the other side, we have it from here with the first star. The game winning goal is Charlie McAvoy. Only had three assists and eight hits, but not to worry. But Pasternak, he had that win. It's great to make that one come back toward it. And I really like the hustle of the inbound to put it in. And as of right now, with the total statistics, here's how they did. 50 shots on goal for Boston and 48 for Carolina. 15 hits for and 29 hits for Boston. 5.56 remaining on the time on attack for Boston and 5.19 for Carolina. 88% for Carolina and 95% for Boston. 25 faceoff wins for Boston over 24. Penalty was killed. And power plays were being untouched. No bad power play goals for in between teams. And that is a power play minute to keep it from here. Well, I guess it was a very exciting. One win for the Celtics and one win for the Bruins. <laughs> That's your celebration out there. That's your still lucky luck. Yeah, I know, right? But they're really that tough. Nothing to be here for them being afraid of. They all will enjoy it. Who we'll never know. Well, as it being right now, I hope everybody's enjoying your day and your night. As right now, this all comes down to the end of the Saturday's primetime game of the doubleheader. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Sunday Showcase team as we see the Avalanche face against the Kraken at Ball Arena. Two loca same location here with hockey and basketball as it will be changing over and under. From hockey to basketball, right in between. And that will be the Nuggets and across from here to face against the Lakers. Thanks for joining us and peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup Conference Finals dial of the EA Sports. See you all next time for tomorrow's night's game of this round. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. See you next time. Good night in Boston. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.